Well, good morning, everyone. Thanks for uh, letting Canada start it off this morning. We'd just like to introduce ourselves. My name is Dennis Lawrence. Bonjour, je suis Daigle. And we are from the Canadian Association of Nordic Ski Instructors. Qu'est-ce que ça comporte, ça, Kenzie? We, uh, as an organization, were formed in 1976 uh, with help from our brothers in uh, Alpine and uh, later with our snowboarders. We're very happy to be here in uh, Levy, Finland, showing off our wonderful Nordic technique this morning and a little bit later on our Telemark technique. All right, now if our uh, Nordic skiers are ready to go, are you ready? I'm ready. The Canadian Association of Nordic Ski Instructors employs a skilled-based pedagogy. The skills for all classic and skate maneuvers are balance, coordination, and propulsion. The skills and resulting movement outcomes apply to all maneuvers at each level of skier ability and in all terrain. Parmi, parmi les manœuvres, nous avons la coordination, la propulsion et le ballon. Et le résultat du mouvement, le, le résultat est appliqué sur chaque manœuvre à tous les niveaux de skieur. Now I would ask you to please watch Jessica and John on the tracks and beside as they demonstrate our sk skate and classic skills. Allez-y, Jessica et John, montrez-nous le les classique. The skill of balance is required to allow us sufficient time to make coordinated, powerful motions while resisting forces acting on the skier. John and Jessica move smoothly from ski to ski balancing mainly on the forefoot and using all of their joints. Le ballon est une composante très importante dans les manœuvres de ski de fond. Now watch the difference between Carla followed by Jessica. The skill of coordination is important for giving us that smooth, efficient motion we look for in cross-country skiers. The arm action sets the tempo, elbow extension, and hand follow-through will dictate glide length. La coordination en tous les mouvements est requise pour avoir une propulsion efficace. The skill of propulsion involves the skier applying force to the ground in order to move forward. In order to achieve this, John and Jessica move their center of mass forward with each stride. The stretching, shortening cycle of the muscles can be varied to meet the desired power outcome. Pulling starts with the hand in front of the shoulder and the elbow bent at approximately 90 degrees. Pour coordonner tous les mouvements afin d'avoir une belle performance et une propulsion efficace. And so to recap, the skills for skate and classic are balance, coordination and propulsion. When it comes to downhill maneuvers, balance and coordination are much the same as in classic and skate. Carla and Jessica will now demonstrate our downhill skills, the new one being direction change. Et voici, nous allons voir un, une descente où il y aura un changement de direction. Thank you, Carla. A wonderful wedge turn. The skill of direction change is driven by body movements, pressure management, grip, speed, and equipment to determine size, speed, and level of ski performance of an arc. The skis are steered through the new direction and throughout the turn. Pour un changement de direction, il faut gérer tous les forces et être centré et balancé sur ses skis. Thank you very much, ladies. Another wonderful demonstration by our fantastic Canadian Nordic skiers. Merci beaucoup à Finlande et le reste du monde. On est heureux d'être ici. Good morning, everybody. Next up, we're going to have the cross-country team from USA.
We have head coach of our cross country team, Emily Levitt. We have Tuli Bodisilich, and we have Zeke Faschingbauer. Our cross country technique is grounded in the technical fundamentals. Those fundamentals are control the relationship of the center mass to the base of support, to direct pressure along the length of the skis, control timing of body movements while regulating power application through the skills and skis and poles to optimize propulsion, the AKA push off. Control the relationship of the center mass to the base of support from ski to ski or weight transfer and utilize body movements to manage momentum or glide. First up, we have Emily Levitt demonstrating classic technique. Diagonal stride with propulsion from the upper body. Body position and weight transfer. Now we have double pole short locked and loaded. This emphasizes timing of movements to optimize propulsion. And then double pull, longer follow through of arms and pulling. Longer follow through through arms with longer glide, optimizing momentum. We're gonna see another pass of that. Note the longer follow through, emphasis on arms, longer glide. And she's smiling, she's having fun. Good stuff, Emily. Thank you very much. We've got Zeke focusing on transitions for classic skiing, uphill diagonal stride with glide. Running uphill without glide, landing aggressively from ski to ski to maximize grip. Focusing on body movements for propulsion. Running herringbone, as you just saw, and then downhill diagonal stride because it's all about the glide. Body position and weight transfer. Well done, Zeke. And now we've got Thule. She's, she's focusing now on short form V2, adding dynamic movement and polling, AKA propulsion, timing of body movements and power application. Moving into V2 with moderate intensity. Looking at progressively lengthen the cycle and the range of motion or momentum to utilize body movements to optimize glide and momentum. Now V1 uphill moderate, high intensity. Exploring, demonstrating variability on skills. All the technical fundamentals are focused on adaptability and versatility. And finally, we have some classic parallel technique, downhill technique. Beautiful skiing, Thule, thank you very much. Give it up for the USA. Hello, and we're getting ready with the presentation of Polish cross-country team. And we have a surprise. We have two, three fantastic, fantastic girls that will be showing us the basics of Polish technique. We have Ania Guzik, also the FIS delegate for uh, international competition in cross-country. We have uh, Kasia Maciążek and we have Marysia Renza. Three fantastic girls. And the surprise, they are accompanied by Justyna Kowalczyk. 50 times World Cup winner, five Olympic medals. Justyna is somewhere here, you will see her with the... Oh, we have an, now already we started the presentation with a kneel down uh, exercise that is not 
of course, official in uh, our program, but that's just a warm up and for fun. We have a typical double polling technique. You see the girls have a mid length of the double polling. Okay. Turning around and. Double pulling with a kick. Beautiful, flexible movements. Great. Girls are turning around. Okay, classical movements. Diagonal stride. The girls are great friends and they uh, keep exercising together near Zakopane, so you will see that they will play along very well. Okay, now kneel down with a kick. Very special exercise L called lunging, as my friend from USA is <laughs> trying to remind. Okay, bravo, girls. Okay, now the kick or double kick, in fact, diagonal stride and double kick. Fantastic. Okay, kneel down and thank you very much for presentation, for watching this nice presentation. And I'm giving my microphone to Monica from Switzerland. Thank you. Grüezi miteinander. We will present you first our basic skating step without stick. Raphael is doing this wonderful here for us and you see the technical fundamentals they contain four core movements to shift right from one ski to the other it starts with flexion turning tilting and uh, the last extending these core movements and are the basic step remain the same in all classical and skating steps. Later on, together with the polling, we get into the different step. Now you will see the example of V1. The key points are flexing the ankle when planting the poles turning the body towards the new gliding ski, the arms go back to the hips, and the rhythm is always stick, ski, stick, ski. Stick, ski, stick, ski, stick, ski. The core movements, flexion, turning, tilting and extending, they vary in their expression from beginner skier to competitive skier. So Raphael will show us now, starting from a beginner skier, very slowly, and then faster and faster, with more expression to a competitive skier. So the flexion gets more, the orientation gets less. Thank you very much and have a good day. Okay, so we would like to introduce the Hungarian and United Kingdom team. They are Dr. Agustin Dosek, Peter Dallas, and Keith Jan. They are gonna take us back to the future, the evolution of technique from the 50s till today. First up, traditional classic techniques. Good job, Mr. Dossack. And second, the seated in step. Back 
to the future. <laughs> okay, now number three, climbing. Old left side and new right side. Apologies, they're not at three yet. <laughs> Looking good, team. Let's see what's coming next. Number three, climbing. Old left side, new right side. We're just going to assume that the downhill will be next. So for the downhill, they will demonstrate the V step. Looking awesome! Let's give him a hand! We are now left with the V2 high speed. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give him a good round of applause. Good 